Welcome everyone, my name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Today we have an eight minute total back workout. You'll need a resistance band and dumbbells so we can strengthen your upper, mid and lower back as well as arms and chest. All exercises are super effective so you only need eight minutes or you can do this workout two to three times for more of a comprehensive pull and push circuit. Let's begin with our pull aparts here. So hands to the end of that resistance band. You're gonna really stretch that band apart, finding that pinch through your back line. Walking the hands in a little bit more narrower to advance this exercise. Exhaling as you pull the band apart. Inhale as you slowly resist on that band. Really spend time in the back here. So how far can we stretch that band? Find that squeeze through your back. You've got 10 more seconds here, let's go. Excellent, let's come down into a four point kneel with the hands stacked underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Neutral spine, lengthening your right arm and your left leg, holding it there for 10 full seconds. Ready to go, let's begin. Reach, lengthen through the arm and the back toes and find that pull through your back line. So squeeze everything, that arm is strong, the leg is strong and then we swap. 10 seconds on the second side. So keep going, keeping those hips square, pressing down into that single arm into the floor, eyes staying straight down in front of you. So you have control how hard this will be. Really squeeze that entire back. This is your final 10 seconds, so make sure you're nice and even. Good work. Okay, taking a 15 second rest. We have a super one here now. So we're going into a plank, reaching one arm long, trying to minimize any rocking through the hips. Ready to go, lifting those knees up, lengthening that arm, reach, reach, reach. Hold and zip in through the core. You're aiming for around two to three second hold. And then you swap to the other side. If you need more support, just come down onto your knees and continuing reaching out with that single arm. Squeeze your glutes and your legs. This will really help you. So use your full body. 15 seconds remaining now. Okay, last reach. And rest. Awesome, guys, that was a tough one. We'll stay standing up, folding at your hips. So hinge down, straight spine. We're pulling those elbows back into your hip pockets. So find that squeeze through the back of your arms and let's begin. Hold and squeeze, lengthening the arms. Pull the elbows back and lengthen. You want your core supporting this movement. Soft bend through your knees. That's it, and again, finding that pinch through those shoulder blades and the back of the arms are feeling strong. Let's go, 23 seconds. If you need a reset, just come up, shake it off, and then bending over again. Last three, two, one. And rest. We're gonna come down onto our left forearm, side plank into a clam. The idea here is to strengthen around your hips, but also shoulder strength around that left side. So we're gonna keep those hips up high and then just clam up through that top knee. So hips high, opening the knee, and then tap it to close. Opening the knee and inhale, lower. Exhale, open. Good, so keep those hips high, keep pressing down into that left forearm. We have the glute meads firing up here. Also left shoulder stabilizers, so stay with it. It's a nice strong one, really good one, really effective. So let's go, 15 seconds.
Oh yeah, guys, you are over halfway now. So let's even up the other side. You're on your right forearm, stacking the knees and the feet. We'll lift those hips and just clam it out to even up the second side. Hand either goes behind your head or on your hip. And let's go, lifting up, spiraling that knee up towards the sky. Inhale, tapping the knee back down. Really strong move. Let's hold it here, another 35 seconds. Ten more seconds, clam it out. Final five, four, three, two, one, and you may rest. Awesome guys, we have a reverse plank now. So let's fire up that whole posterior chain. We're gonna really tuck under the hips on this one, legs are long, fingertips facing your feet, and we're gonna hold our hips up as high as we can, ribs dropping down. Let's begin. Proud, open through those collarbones, Oh, you're gonna feel those hamstrings, your glutes firing up and then working strong through those shoulder stabilizers. I feel like we've worked up to this one now. So here's your moment, let's shine and hold. Okay, everyone, final 10 seconds. See if you can hold it up here until the last count. Breathe through, press down into those hands, lift those hips up a little higher and rest. You made it, guys. We're gonna finish off with a beautiful cat-cow. So back into that four-point kneeling setup. We'll take your chest down and then lifting up towards the sky. Ready to go and enjoy. Let's go, exhaling, round your spine up as high as you can. Unraveling that spine, dipping your chest down. Tuck your chin in, puff that chest up, tuck your tailbone under and inhale, gently unwind. We have a couple more in each direction, making them as big or as small as you wish. Spending time in any curve that feels the most appropriate for you here. This is our last bit of movement in this eight minute total back workout. So last 10 seconds. Finishing off your last one. And you are done. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Please like and subscribe to help support my channel. This really does go a long way. I will see you back here for our next workout together really soon.